What is going on guys, my name is Mr. OP811 here, and welcome back to the season finale of The Wolf Among Us Episode 5, Cry Wolf. Well, the next part, whatever. I'm not gonna say season finale because people are getting confused. Oh, is this the finale? Oh my god. It's too short. Um, so yeah, so basically, we're at the Shepherd Metal Works. Oh, and look what we got here. We got the limousine of the Crooked Man. And Bloody Mary. We're gonna Still examine more. it. He's here, alright. He's here. Alright, let's go kick ass. Let's go. Here we go, here we go. I wanna kick the fucking door, but I can't. Three, two, one, let's go. Of course. Shit. <laughs> yeah. You can't mess with Big Me, he has the big muscles. The big fucking muscles. Yo, fuck you. I'm, I'm Georgie. Fuck you. I'm gonna die. It's okay. The packages, we don't need to them. They have the crooked thing and shit. Oh, they could have something. You never know. So, this is where they've been sending these. Ah, oh, he's just gonna say something stupid. Alright. Here we go. Next door. Door number two. <sighs> if you hear like background noises, that's my EC. This this room is freaking hot as hell. Oh, who said that? The big bad wolf. <laughs> who said that? Was that bloody? Is that Mary? You used to be something. Oh, the photos. Oh, you were stalking them. The crooked man was stalking them. Look at all these photos. This is, uh, how'd you take this photo? I don't know how. Uh, this photo. Uh, this is the girl. Uh, oh. Between the snow and, and beauty. The girl and no faith in Big B. I don't know how you took these photos. There's Big B. I don't know how you took this photo. And that's also it. So that's it. That's it for the photos. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. What's the wheel doing here? It's like a wheel. Fast spikes. Could kill someone. Alright. Oh, drink bleach. Hey, how would you go? Drink bleach, guys. Screw you guys. Hate my fans. No, I'm kidding. That, that was fucked up. Okay. Go back. Alright. There's the gold. I want me gold. Workbench. Bullet. Oh, shit. Silver. The big bad wolf. They're gonna kill you. Holy shit, that's scary. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. Yo, let's go, that's buddy. Nice. Let's go. Ah, I'm not baby. afraid to hit a girl. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Let's go. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Not to a bitch like you. Oh, is she too busy <gasps> fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Oh, it's time. Beat the shit out of you. Oh, come on. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Is that the best you can do? You are not the fuck out, man. Be careful, Biggie. Be careful, Biggie. You're so bullets are behind you. Okay, 
to hear you. Uh, check over there. It's gonna not be worth the wait. She's not gonna be there. Fetch you. See, no sign. the shit at me. This is bad. This is really bad. Best scene, hands down. Oh my god. That was amazing. Crooked man, I'm coming for you. Good reason. 
reason not to rip you apart right now. Oh. This gun holds... I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. I agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. You need to tell me right now. Me what We're not going anywhere you. until I get some answers from you. Wait with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance. Bullshit. Bullshit. I already talked to Georgie. I Bullshit. Not a killer. There's still oh, a lot. You, you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You want to look like the hero. This is about protecting Fable. Georgie. Be a short ass game. You can brighten up a little. Do you want a short ass game? History. We could make this. Yeah, what are you gonna do me. now? Rip me apart like some Miss White thing. You show up with nothing but a corpse. No answers, no proof. All right, I'm sorry. You're given a trial in front of your peers. Justice. <clears throat> you can't just come over right and punish. That. You fucker! You don't mess with the Fable Towners. Yeah, that does make sense. I know. I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's here. Oh he's my back. god. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Yeah, Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. It's nothing. I'm fine. I guess you've been worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. All right. Yes! What are you waiting for? Chill you killed out. Lily! She was my sister! How could you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking to crook! Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder As of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who no, killed it those wasn't. women, not me. What? It was Georgie? You'd better shut your fucking mouth if you want to keep it. Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna he bring that orders. shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? That's what you're saying? I can't believe it was him. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That need doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Yeah. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Yeah. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing uh, monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. Yeah. He went willingly. Yes. 
Thank you. You're now, welcome. is there anything you would like to say? Yeah, fucker. <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, let him speak, guys. Everyone just shut up for a minute. Yeah, let him Wanted speak. Wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak guys, for? Calm down. Calm down. The crooked man it. has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get on but with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. What? What's going on? You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Yeah. Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is fucking bullshit! You've always been a bit of a powder keg. Give me a break. You're so full of shit. Well, I thought we could discuss this like civilized people, but apparently for that isn't going sake. to happen. Any <laughs> of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit By carried way, away sometimes. <laughs> it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. I really hope you're going somewhere with this. I see, you want to cut right to the point. I can appreciate that. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free, she wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? Yeah. What about Archie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow. Why would you want that? I know what you're doing, and it's not gonna work. You can't manipulate us or these people. We're not here to talk oh, about this. Oh, we're not? Big Bay just This is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. 
You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do Whoa. to get it. It had nothing Anti. to do with a crooked- We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. We're not gonna tolerate this shit anymore. The debts are wiped. His business is closed. White boy He's did done. They're right. Yeah. You're all still afraid of him. Even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this yeah, town yeah, is yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. And those girls will have their justice. Oh, fucking gang. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie bar. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? Fuck you, okay? I'm sick of your shit. You see what I mean, Bigby? Maybe, maybe he's. I mean, this doesn't feel right. How we're doing this? Yeah. I just. Of didn't course it. it's right. This man tormented all of you for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course, yes. You're responsible. Mm-hmm. Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder, since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. Now, don't make him a murderer. What happened with Tweedledum wasn't Snow's fault. If you all want to blame someone, blame me. She had nothing to do with it. Yep. Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? He was a suspect, and I needed answers. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, wow, this is getting dear. deeper Crane and deeper and charge. deeper. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's Crane. enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. That's I not mean, true. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who I was there while they idly man. played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless Come children, on. too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! Whoa. Excuse me, I, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you it's take a moment out. to catch your breath? What's mother? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. Spit We're it out. kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. 
You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up! Ooh. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we step just one toe out of line and we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons but you know what now it's my turn to talk how are you i found vivian's body did you kill her did he sheriff this is highly irregular vivian killed herself yes. back at the pudding and pie i'm sorry um i don't think nerissa my name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you! This, confirms this it. just confirms it. He uh, made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the Sounds word of stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good yeah. enough for me. Me too. Guilty. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free You're done after this. Talking. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, bye -bye. then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. I don't care. So we get, get rid of him. Oh, get him out of we can send him Everyone, away. listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think this we- This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Snow, you should decide. Look, Snow should decide what we do with him. She's gonna be the deputy mayor, But so... she's not the deputy mayor yet. Shut up. What she's about going Bigby? To be. What about him? He was appointed. Not me. Not me. He's the only official not representative, me. really. No, no. He should be the judge. Guys. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Oh, no. Just do what you think is right. Oh, no. Come on. Don't do choices. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. Just fucking get lock rid of him. him. Everyone, I'm not this one. Whoa! That's your help. No, no, no. <laughs> there you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be what serious. he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This yeah. isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. <sighs> it's hard being Sheriff. Oh, he's a goddamn bird. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. 
He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Hey, Jack. Hey, Tim. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Oh, shit. Is everything okay? You look... I'm... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. Everyone hates me. <laughs> Someone's hey. gonna see you, Colin. Colin, what the hell, man? They don't tell me to go into the farm. Oh, Garland! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. Hey, carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! Hey, hold up. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Ah, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Oh. What the hell? Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White? Please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her... Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. Aww. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. I'm sorry, TJ. But, um, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Chance. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have yeah. you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. Yeah. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, he must have run off. Bullshit. Colin's my best friend. You can't... <sighs> Man. Saying goodbye? What a bummer.
Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to it's silence okay. someone who had physical evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. Jesus Christ. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. She did all along. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Can you tell me anything else? I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us... We're sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality, especially after. That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at what your doorstep. What the hell? You? I walked her Why? over here. Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... Fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Poor Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot yeah, these no days. I just... I go out there, and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but... Without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. 
Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. That's pretty true. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Hmm. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. No. Oh my god. What did you do to Georgie? You were 56. Okay, left him to die. He was 70 point die, brought him alive. 47.4, so. To imprison him. Did you. Yeah, I accepted him. Aw. Oh. You lied to him about seeing beauty outside. Mm, okay. You promised her you wouldn't tell Beast that you saw her lie. You fought him at the interrogation. You offered him production at the business office. You gave him a drink when he asked him. You helped him to avoid that. You imprisoned him. You confessed to the fight with Fessy. You killed him. You gave her money after the fight with wounds and You left him die. You smashed up his place. Oh, I'm sorry about that, alright? You pretended to be woodsman while she was passed out. You made a deal with him. You paid her extra money. And you bought her song. You showed her clients for it. You promised to bring the crew man alive. You chose to wait for him. You accepted this deal. You stood for him and so on. And that's a wrap. That is The Wolf Among Us. Episode 5, Cry Wolf. I have a lot of mixed emotions here. I feel like I've done something right. And I've done something wrong. We just gotta wait and see. I, I, I don't know what to say about the ending. Left me with a cliffhanger. <sighs> That's it, guys. I hope you like this wonderful series. We'll be doing another let's play in the near future. I need more thinking. So that's about it. Like, favorite, and most importantly, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next LP. Goodbye, guys.